Once the lines have exited from underneath the bell housing area of the engine compartment, you'll see there are several lines. One of the most common mistakes is to confuse the fuel supply line with the fuel return line. They're both the same size. Both of them are 5 16 of an inch in diameter. There is a slightly smaller one here that is a vent line that comes up to your carbon canister. Whatever you do, if you're going to dismantle both sides of this, mark them. If you're just simply changing the fuel filter, you won't have any problems. Changing the fuel filter here, simply get in and release the lines, top and bottom, pulling the bracket loose here, and slide the filter off. Be careful that the battery is disconnected when you do this because the alternator is right underneath you, and uh, this is a very good chance for a fire to happen. Not that there's ever a good chance for a fire, but let's eliminate the possibility by simply disconnecting the battery so you don't get any arc or sparks. Another thing I want to mention to everybody here, if you're working with a trouble light that has an incandescent bulb in it, put it as far away from this job as possible. If the fuel sprays off of this under pressure because you accidentally had more pressure than you thought you had, you will have an instant explosion as that bulb gets hit by the cold fuel and ignites it. it is the, I've had several friends that have been burned up with these things. Not a pretty sight. So do pressurize. When you get ready to go into this system, make sure that you depressurize it and we will cover that in a minute. This is your fuel supply line. Comes in through the filter, drops into the uppermost pipe on both of the systems. This one is a complete closed loop system. In other words, the fuel pump itself provides the system with more fuel than it can use, the balance of which is returned back to the tank in this line here. So it's a constant circulating system. The longer that the fuel circulates, the more chances that it is be going to be filtered. You get a tremendous amount of fuel flow through here. The engine at idle is going to obviously use less fuel than it will when it's revved up. So the pump has to have a specific output, but it has to compromise itself because it cannot slow down simply because the engine is slowed down. It only has one speed. So we just return whatever's left, the balance of which is run back to the tank. Don't ever connect this to fuel. This is an airline, but it looks just like the lines that are running down the side of the uh, engine compartment. Don't leave this open. You know, leaf cutter bees and bugs and whatever get down inside of here, this is very important that this line stay intact. If you see any lines that are off of the car, ask why, and ask the question why. There's, there's a good reason for everything Nissan put under the hood in here. There's very little you can remove from the system and, and make it functional after the fact. 